All right, hey guys, welcome back to Spin the Wheel, where we pick a random game on Steam to play. I have a huge library of games, over 5,700 games, so hopefully we uh, find something that we haven't played before and is somewhat interesting. So here we go, Spin in the Wheel. Escape the Past. I have no idea what this game is, I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so here we are with Escape the Pass. This is a point-and-click adventure game, one of my least favorite genres on Steam. So uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and start with Chapter 1. This game is $5 on Steam, and there's barely any reviews, um, but I think they're mostly positive. All right, here we are. Uh, why is it in French? Okay, there we go. <laughs> New game. Screen change. Secret crystals. Letters. Combine, inventory, use. So we can use things in our inventory on items on the screen and we can pick things up. Okay, it's a pretty typical adventure game and we can combine stuff together. All right. Oh, okay, no story at all, no cutscenes. Usually in adventure games, there's a cutscene to open up the story. But it seems like this game just puts you right into things. I'm going to read the description first. Stuck on, the, stuck on this island, you have only one thing in your mind, escape. It's time for you to uncover the secrets of your life, fight what you created, and accept its consequences. Are you ready to escape the, your past? In this new escape game, try to solve all the enigmas through several landscapes. Okay, it's a pretty basic adventure game. Alright, there's something here. I just picked up a crystal. Uh, I don't have anything in my inventory. Just picked up a bottle. Um, there's really not a whole lot I can pick up. The chest is buried. I must find something to clean the sand. All right, let's move on to the next area. Looks like we're just going to be going from area to area looking for things to pick up. All right, doesn't look like anything's that way. Um, looks like there's some sort of code to unlock the... Mailbox. Okay, how many letters are there? Four, five, hold on. Okay, so there's five different characters on each symbol. We could just go through all the different combinations, but that would take a long time, so I'd rather not do that if possible. We found some gasoline. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with gasoline. What is this? I can't even tell what this is. Found another crystal. Oh, okay. So here's the password. It looks like the password's 4952. But... Does that even make sense with the shapes that we were seeing? No, these shapes don't even match up. So there's a password on the tree. Oops. Okay, so there's a password on the tree that says 4952. Might have to use that for later. Hmm. One more area. Found some rocks. And it looks like the shed is locked. Can we use this on the shed? The shed is locked. Nope. <laughs> okay. One thing I hate about adventure games is that... Um, letters, secret crystals, combine. So this looks like it's giving me a hint down here. You can combine the rope with the rocks. There's something else, too. There's, like, some screwdrivers. You can use the screwdrivers on the book. Alright. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really found any screwdrivers. Maybe I can go into the house. Yes, I can. Alright, so there's some locks here. Okay, it looks like I need to find three different keys. What is this? Alright, secret crystals. What does this do? Do the crystals do anything? It just says two out of five, so I don't think so. I'm just kind of clicking all over the place, seeing if I can't like find something I missed. Um, right now, it's just saying that I need to unbear the treasure chest. There's nothing. Oh, the case must only contain straws. Okay, we found another key by clicking on that box. I'm gonna click on all the boxes. With sufficient force, I might be able to open them. Alright, so fortunately that's nothing. There's some rope on the ground. I was thinking maybe I can pick up the rope. Hmm. Let's go back here. Oh wait, there's another crystal. It looks like there's a soccer ball. 
Something shiny in the branches, maybe I can make it fall throwing something at it. So I'm gonna need some stones and some rope, probably. Okay, so let's go back, and then let's go to this area. Let's get the soccer ball. The ball is in equilibrium, it can fall easily. Maybe if I throw some rocks at it. Nah, I didn't do anything. Maybe a bottle? I didn't do anything either. Oh, uh, crap. So I'm already stuck. I, I only have four items. I don't know what these crystals do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the bottle. So I have two keys. Wait a minute, one of the keys... No, wait. Let's think of maybe one of the keys can open this book. Nope. Hmm. Well, the only thing like that I've seen currently, I should be able to drop the log. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Alright, so, like, there's... There's three locks here. One lock... Alright. I'm already confused. Let me go to the Steam, like, community section and see if I can't find a, um, a guide really fast, just because I'm totally lost. Um, there's no guides. Um... Crap. Okay, so we might be stuck at the very beginning of the game, unfortunately. Like, I d I'm not, like, trying to bash on the game, but if I can't make it through the first section, then there's something wrong. <laughs> um, I, I Honestly, I don't like most adventure games just because they don't make a whole lot of sense. Like, I have a bottle, a gas container, some rocks, a key... Oh, wait, this key might go to the shed. There we go, okay. <laughs> I forgot about the shed. Alright, so what did I find? I found a crystal, I think. Um, anything on the shelf that I can pick up? Nope, 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 nope. What is this? Nothing? System 800i, escape from hell. Uh, the generator is not working. I must fix it. Oh, with the gas, right? Not sure how I would put the gas in the generator. That's what the gas is for, right? It has to be. Oh, there's a shovel. Yes, we picked up a rake and a shovel. So we can use that shovel for sure. And a crowbar. Cool. Oh, we can use the crowbar to get the crates. Okay. Okay, now I'm making a little bit of progress. Let's go to these crates. Let's use the crowbar. It's not letting me open this one for some reason. Um, anyways, there's some rope, some pictures, and a screwdriver. So we combine this and this together. How do you combine stuff? Hold on, let me look at the tutorial one more time. It just says combine. It doesn't say like how to combine, it just says combine. It's kind of strange. Like, I can't move, I can't move them. Like, I'm trying to, like, combine the two, but I don't see any way. Oh, well, we'll just uh, keep on going. Let's go over here. Let's use the shovel to get this, 8360. I cannot open it without the right combination. Okay, I know where the combination is. Okay, so we're actually making some progress. Uh, the combination is 4952. Excuse my phone vibrating. 4692. 4692. Huh? 4692, that was the combination, right? 4952, sorry. 4952. There we go. And it looks like we found a key, and we also found the password to the mailbox. So the password is... Okay, I have to kind of remember this. Um, okay, so like S, M, and the first fish-looking thing. Okay. Okay, fish-looking thing. Oops, probably shouldn't have even changed it. And then M. There we go, and what we found? We found a note. I spent days desperately fixing this 
Darn boat, only to see it fall apart again as soon as I walked away from the shore. This island is cursed. I am starting to think that the stories concerning the part concerning the port are all true. I should have never set foot here. I'm going crazy. Jime does not time does not pass. Or every day is the same. The message I sent returned back to me the day after okay. Okay, so we found that. Not really sure if we needed that, but okay. Um, hold on. The message I sent returned back to me day after day, I think. Okay, so no clues there. There is a log. I should be able to drop the log. Um, we found two keys. Found some pictures. 1987, 1953, 1962. Um, okay. It's like the same guy. So what's the screwdriver for? It gave me a hint. The screwdriver was for the book. Okay. What? It shows like use the screwdriver on the book, <laughs> but I, I don't think that does anything. Hmm. Alright, looks like we're stuck again. How many keys did I find? I found two keys. Yeah, I have two keys total. I have some rope and some rocks. I don't know how to combine them. Let me just go over to here. So we're gonna throw a rock at it. There we go, got it. I should be able to get the soccer ball too. Maybe with a rake? Okay, got the soccer ball with a rake. So what would the soccer ball be used for? I'm just gonna click around in here, it might be something I missed. Oh, maybe we need to use the screwdriver in here? No. Crowbar? Gasoline? <laughs> I must fix it. Wait. What's the bottle for? That's a good question. Soccer ball. Oh, we're probably going to use the soccer ball to get the log. Oh, it said it was a log, but it was actually a backpack? Wait, what did I pick up? I picked up something. <laughs> That's weird, I guess we didn't need that. We found three notes. So, oh, this is the first note, this is the second note, this is the third note. I'll give up and find another solution. I felt, feel like a magnet. As soon as I walk away, a fence draws me back. I will devise my own escape if necessary. Hmm. Okay, so we found four out of five shards just look over here one more time oh wait, there's something written up here Dunlop I'm just gonna look everywhere oh I did I do have three keys it didn't show me the third key okay I open the door sweet what's in here what the heck The door is open, but I can't go inside. <laughs> I'm clicking all over the place. Click, click, click. Hello. Why would the door open but not let me inside? Like, surely I'm supposed to go in here, right? Like, what would I be missing? I found all three notes. I found the three keys. I opened the door. Now what? Why can't I go in the door? Hello? <laughs> Why can't I go in the door? Okay, now I'm totally confused. Because there's literally nothing else I can do. I opened, I, I did everything. Nothing here. Except the generator. There is like a lever up here. I'm gonna just try everything on it. Pictures don't do anything. Hmm. Oh, crap. 
There's like nothing else to click on, so. Hmm. Like, I wish it would give you a hint. I wish you could like use the crystals to get a hint because right now I'm just like, what is happening? Is there like, maybe these wires go to some sort of like fuel cell somewhere? I don't see it though. I don't see anything. All right, let me go ahead and go back. Maybe I can like look closely and find some sort of like generator somewhere. It looks like it goes, okay, the wire goes on top of the house. It goes all the way around. It goes through the tree and then it stops. So it might be over here. I don't see any like generator though. Maybe I'm supposed to put these pictures in the bottle and ship it off? I don't know. Like, it, there's really nothing left for me to do. I opened the door. This is why I don't like adventure games, because when you get stuck, you're pretty much screwed. And um, I feel like looking up a guide would be cheating, but in a game like this, even if you try to look for a guide, none exists. So I'd have to look up someone else's Let's Play on YouTube to figure out what to do next. Um, I guess just for the sake of this video, I'm going to try. Let me see what this game is called. It's called Escape the Past. Uh, so I'm going to look up Escape the Past on YouTube, uh, if I can. Alright, so someone has made a walkthrough. Looks like they found something I didn't find. They found, like, a piece of paper somewhere. Where did they find that piece of paper? What? They just clicked on these rocks. Hold on. Can use these rocks to break something. Oh, you break the bottle with the rocks. Another thing I hate about adventure games is it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you need a rock to break a bottle? You just throw it on the ground. So what do we find? We found... Good sequence. Okay, so... Looks like that's another puzzle for somewhere. Can we open the door now? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have to look up the video again to see how we get through the door. And I'm sorry that I'm pausing so much. Like, there's literally nothing I can think of to do from this point. We did, like, everything. We found the keys. Oh... Alright, I guess that makes sense. It wasn't making sense to me earlier. We go back over here to the generator. So I was clicking up here. I was actually clicking everywhere. I didn't know like what I was supposed to click on. You have to use the screwdrivers on the screw, on each screw. Did not realize that. So I'm kind of stupid, I will admit. And then we have to pour some gas in here. And then we should be able to start it now. Generator's not working. Um, hold on. Oh, and then we got the rope, and now we can turn it on? Um... Crap, now I'm stuck again. Uh... It looks like it's fixed. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up the guide one more time, because I'm a little bit confused. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so we have to press these buttons up here. Didn't even realize you can press those buttons. They didn't let me press those buttons earlier. So here's the sequence. So it's uh, three, two, one, two, okay. Oops, not that one, this one. There we go. Okay, so now the generator started. 
So I guess that's done. So now can we go in the house? Maybe? The door's shut. The dr Oh, there we go. Now the light's on. You've escaped! 17 minutes and 25 seconds. Wow, that took forever. <laughs> uh, we kind of cheated. Uh, I guess I should have been able to like realize that I was supposed to use the screwdrivers on those tiny little screws. But, I don't know. It just didn't come to me, I guess. But yeah, that's just a quick look at Escape the Past. Unfortunately, not my most favorite genre. I always get stuck in adventure games. And I never know what to do. And I have to use a guide on every single one. Especially, like, Deponia. Uh, that game, man, I get stuck every five minutes, but, um, yeah, it's not a bad adventure game. I wish there was more story. There should have been an intro cutscene. It really doesn't tell you, like, what you're doing or where you are even at, uh, but apparently you're, like, stuck on some sort of island and you're trying to escape the island. And it's kind of strange because I don't understand how I escaped because I just went into someone's house, um... And a couple things I just don't like about it is that, like, some of the puzzles are kind of vague, especially um, the bottle on the rock. That didn't make any sense to me at all. And getting the stuff down from the trees, that was kind of um, vague as well. But, uh, yeah, not a, not such a bad game, but it is $5 on Steam if you guys want to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Steam store page. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.